So here's the secret. Here's my method and it's worked time and time again. There's no extra storage cubes or anything, any vacuum seal bags. I don't have to do anything extra but this. So you find the kid's outfit for the entire day. Here's the top, here's the bottom, here's the undies, and there's the socks. And then just roll it up. It doesn't have to be all fancy or anything, especially if you're not worried about wrinkles like we aren't for this trip. And here's the bundle right here. You just plop that in the suitcase and then you're ready to go. Everybody knows, grab a bundle for the day, go take your shower, go get dressed. Instead of packing everything, shirts, pants, whatever, and pulling everything out and trying to figure out what goes with what on the day of, pack it like this. All you moms out there, try this and let me know what you think. It's, it's just, it works. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> everything is compact and in its place and everybody knows just grab a bundle and go. It makes it so much easier and I don't have to fuss with anything extra. So I prefer this method. Let me know in the comments down below if you've tried this. I don't know if it's called the roll up method. I've seen something like the army method, but those ways it seems like you have to fold it a certain way. I'm not worried and I don't have time for that. So I just wanna get it in the suitcase and make sure everybody has what they need and be on the road. I'm all set, let's go.
So the reason we're at Kroger right now is because we're about to hit the road. We're gonna be on a two-day trip. Um, still in Michigan, but just on the complete opposite side of Michigan. So if you're looking at Michigan like so, so if you're looking at Michigan like so, we live over on this side, but we're gonna be driving all the way to the other side, over by Lake Michigan. So we're going over to Grand Rapids, Michigan for a wedding. My oldest nephew, Juwan, is gonna get married. We're so excited to have Carly as part of our family. So welcome to the family, Carly Early. So what we went for was to stock up on all the things that we would need food related for the road trip. So we're gonna be on the road for five hours total. And then after the wedding, we're gonna shoot down to my mom and dad's house, which we call the lake house. And we're gonna be needing food there. So this is everything that we got. We got lots of food. We did get lots of food. I think we're stocked up and ready. So now we're heading home and I will show you guys as I pack, I am a wannabe minimalist. So I'm gonna pack very light, very, very, very light. And I will share with you guys what I pack for the family for a two day trip for a family of six. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit, bye. Well, I think that was one of the easiest packing jobs ever that I've ever done. Um, I have four of us already packed up. So this is Yusuf right here, me, Salma, and Omar's underneath my PJs. So that was really easy. And the way that I like to pack is um, basically in each roll is everything you'll need for an entire day. So you just grab one roll and you go take your shower and get dressed. You'll have tops, bottoms, undies, and a pair of socks. Pretty good. Um, underneath here, I have Yui's pack and play um, sheets because we're going to take that. And so now all I have left is Anissa and she'll probably use her own backpack and daddy. And daddy's only staying one night, so he'll probably use his little overnight bag. So that's it. That's all I do for packing. Not too shabby. Pretty good, I'd say. So we're all set as far as clothes go. Now I'm going to show you our food. For food, it's even easier. I have two storage cubes that I use. I've used them for years and years, and it doesn't matter if we're taking a quick trip or a short trip, they work great. They're insulated inside and have a zipper top, and they're super big. Um, look at how much stuff I fit in here. I'm still going to put a couple other things inside of here, like sandwiches and probably some bananas and apples. On this side, I have more snacks. And like I said, this is a road trip for a couple um, hours, but we're also going to my parents' house afterwards. So I needed some, you know, some snacks for the kiddos and things. My parents are gonna have stuff too, but this at least gives everybody some options and some variety. I'll also put, um, like I said, sandwiches, probably a roll of paper towel and some other things. I'll link these bags down below. They're awesome. We've actually taken these to the zoo before and they were great. I was able to hook these on to the stroller and we had, you know, all of our food for the day for the, for the zoo. So I will link these down below if you're interested. For toiletries, I haven't packed those yet because obviously we're gonna use those um, tonight before we leave. But after the person uses it, I'm gonna have everybody stick their toiletries inside of this awesome bag. Look at this. So what it is is it zips up like this. Boop. It's a little square or rectangle. It's a little rectangle and it unzips and then you can hang it up on any hanger and it has all these compartments. Da -da 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 -da. Everything toiletries will fit in here for the whole family easily. So we will do that. I used to use, I just wanted to show you guys because there are other options. I used to use this bag as my toiletry bag and it's actually like a lunch bag, an insulated lunch bag. And it worked great. It kept everything dry. And that's what I liked about it is that, you know, it kept everything nice and clean and dry. And it was, it's big in the inside. Both of these I think I got on Amazon. I'll link them both below. Right now though, my favorite by far is this one because I'm able to hang it and everybody can access everything they need easily and quickly. It's awesome. 
and I believe it was under $15, so even better. And they have tons of um, different patterns. This one is flamingos, isn't that cute? So this will be our toiletry bag. I will pack this uh, tomorrow morning after everybody has gotten ready for the day. Well, I'm getting some things checked off my list. We're getting there. If you're not subscribed already, please do so because the next videos will be the actual road trip. I have a couple other things to do today and then we'll be hitting the road first thing in the morning. Don't forget to ring all the things and we'll see you next time. Bye. Stay up.